Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indy Comics Jones. Today is June 27, 2021. This is episode 345. Our comic today, Chariot. This is number four of five. So we're getting close to the end on this. This is a recommend, by the way. It's coming out from Awa Upshot. And it comes in at a whopping $3.99. It has a mature label on it. And it does get a little bit spicy in this issue, I must say. And we'll get into that just in a second. Let's take a quick look at this cover. Very nice diagonal showing those action. Oops, we got a nice action pose from our main character. One of the main characters, both um, Jillian and Jim here are the two characters. Jillian is actually inside a car. Like she's like the guy inside a Knight Rider's Trans Am. <laughs> so, but she's a woman and she was uh, never really a computer, but she has been her her um, consciousness has been digitized and put in this super spy car. Okay. So Jim has gotten hold of this car. It was uh, lost for many decades, uh, like from the 80s, in the lake. It was being chased and drove off and crashed into the lake. So um, the car was found. Uh, Jim was told he worked at a junkyard. If he could get it started, he could have it. He got it started, and he found out it had some strange powers to it. Hmm. All right, let's take a quick look at... Who worked on this real quick? I think I have to go in a couple pages. There you go. Okay, our writer is Brian Edward Hill. The artist is Priscilla Petrates. Marco Lesko is the colorist. And World Design is doing the lettering. And Jeff Decal, I guess it's Decal, is doing the cover. And let's take a quick look at that cover again. Really nice. Very nicely designed. I think that's... Shows a lot there. Okay. So first off, if you recall, at the end of issue three, Jim is sitting in the car and Jillian says to him, well, if you really want to be a car part of this car, just say so. And he says, yes. And so this, the car seat jams this device in the back of his head or back of his neck and... Um, now he's kind of digitized in his own way inside this car. So he can make things happen. He can train. Um, it's in this time frame where they can do all these things, but nothing really happens in the real world. Here, down here, it can be as long as they want because it's all digitized. So he, she's learning him how to react and use guns and, and fight because she was once a spy. Now, if you recall, uh, Jillian's sister, Delea, I think it's, that's what's called Delia. I don't know how you say it. Or Delilah, maybe. Um, is a spy as well. They grew up together and they were uh, kind of mercenaries. But once this car came around, um, I'll call her Delilah. Delilah wanted to get a hold of this car so she could become a mortal, basically. Be put into this and live on forever. Not having to rely on her body. All right. So all these weird things are happening now since he's inside this. And uh, Jillian's actually kind of coming on to him. Uh, but first she's going to train him how to fight. He already knows how to drive. And she likes the way that he drives. So you can see him. He's got ma manufactured two guns. He's taking down all these uh, test dummies, I guess, or targets. And then he takes a hand-to-hand -hand combat and uh, learns all this stuff very, very quickly. And basically, they discuss things, and she strikes a sexy pose, and then says, come on, let's drive. And so she, they drive off, and you can see that uh, she is um, very much in tune with Jim here. I've got a cover for Moss. I did review this. I, I gave it kind of a lukewarm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a look at issue two on it, um, but uh, this issue was a little bit... Uh, the first issue just really didn't grab me yet, so we'll see if it takes off. Okay, meanwhile, um, Sadie, Jim's wife, ex-wife, I should say, Jim was a convict, so once he got, went to prison, she divorced him, and they have a son that's very ill. 
Uh, Delilah actually has custody of the son right now. Not really custody, she kidnapped him. And so Sadie's helping Jim and this, this um, Jillian can help him out. But Sadie doesn't really get along with anybody in this comic. She, she's always mad at Jim and she does not like Jillian. And they kind of get into it a little bit, even though it's just a hologram here. Um, she's trying to tell her that you know she's nothing's going to happen to your son. We're gonna we're gonna get him. And in the meantime, because since Jillian can be two places at once, she's having a little tryst with uh, Jim here on the hood of the car. So pretty sexy stuff there. Is that's our mature content right there. Um, but Sadie's got is tired of listening to Jillian and she shoots the drone that's projecting the hologram. And so then we get a little bit more um, post-coital talk here. And meanwhile, back at the gas station where they all are, uh, the cars start arriving. Three of them start arriving. She's got it. Sadie has a gun that Jim has given her and she starts blasting away at one of the cars. And meanwhile, the car activates and is able to take it out. This, this uh, spy car is actually indestructible as well. It can do all kinds of neat stuff. It has guns that pop up everywhere. Um, and it uh, runs one off, knocks another one off a cliff. Uh, the other one's got Sadie by the hair there. And Jim, Jim shows up in time to slice the guy in half, basically, and uh, take out the, the uh, co-pilot of that car. So she, he tells her, Sadie, to get in the car and get the heck out of there. He's got to go save the son. And you can see Sadie's a little upset. Meanwhile, uh, Delilah is with the son, and she's saying it's going to get noisy at this house, this, this hideaway. It's to be continued. So the final issue uh, next month, July 28th, it's coming out, Ride or Die. Okay, so that's that's a, it is a recommend. It's not the world's greatest comic, but it's a little fun. Um, I know there was another reviewer that was mentioning that he thought this was a Netflix pitch, but I don't think there's enough story here in these five issues to do a whole ne Netflix story unless they really put some more buildup into it. They, they put more backstory in it because right now it's, it's a pretty thin plot. It would be like a half hour. Okay, let's see what else we got coming out from Awa Upshot. Oh, previews for next issue. You can take a look at this. Looks like someone's got a motorcycle now. I'm assuming that's going to be Jillian's sister, Delilah, with that motorcycle. And she can also kind of fly. She's got all kinds of neat stuff. Uh, the, Rising, the Resistance Uprising, a six-issue series. Issue number four comes out in July. Late July again. A uh, letter from the publisher. Not all robots. Mark Russell's doing this. Uh, issue number one goes on sale August 4th. Not, let's see. Welcome to the future, mankind. Your services are no longer required. Ooh. So I guess the robots are going to take over. And we get a, a shot of what Upshot is currently pub publishing this month. And we did redo a review on this one. Uh, that was kind of lukewarm, maybe recommend. We'll see on issue two. Uh, uh, Marjorie Finnegan, we did do a review on this one. Issue one was a recommend. Issue two was a not recommended. I jumped off that. I thought this was uh, not a good issue. It was very disrespectful in a lot of ways. So I am off of that one. And that's a Garth Ennis book there. And then, as you can see, Chariot, we just did. And then Redemption, I'm not reading. And The Resistance Uprising, I'm not reading. So there you go. And as always, the comics that I do enjoy reading, I give it the Indie Comics Jones Good Excavating Seal of Approval given out only on this channel by Indie Comics Jones. So thanks for stopping by and watching this review. As always, please like, please subscribe, please leave comments. And we'll see you next time at the Temple of Tomes. This is Indie Comics Jones bidding you adieu.